Hi guys, it's Christina here. Um, I wanted to touch base with you guys this week because I said I would be doing my accountability videos um, each week now. I completed day, week three, day five, and I did the ab video tonight, and uh, I didn't miss a single workout this week, which I'm really proud of, and I do have my pulse workout tomorrow because I am following that calendar, uh, but I just still wanted to check in with you guys uh, and talk about my progress and what's been going on. Um, so. As far as improvements, I'm definitely, I'm feeling stronger, I'm seeing more definition, um, I'm being able to last longer on moves that I w wasn't able to in the beginning, I, uh, I can go a little bit longer, I'm, I, I'm definitely feeling stronger, I'm seeing definition, I really don't like to show my stomach a whole lot, but I do notice um, the definition coming through and kind of changing up, so I'm really excited about that because that's a area that I really have been trying to work on. Nutrition wise, have my Shakeology every day and I have been eating very clean. I only had one cheat this week so I'm really proud of that. So uh, I've been following with the 21 day fix because Max already goes off of that uh, meal plan. Um, just I've been using the containers and things the um, best I can and keep a track that way. Um, as far as other progress and something I wanted to touch base about on this video is you might see that with my max out times are pretty low and you know I always tell everybody you know don't compare yourself to other people's max outs because everybody's different and basically what maxing out means is going your hardest um, for you until you have to stop take a break modify for anything other than an injury reason um, and you know or lose form whatnot that that is your max out um, for me it's been maxing out sooner and I would think by now that I would have improved and it's because I'm focusing on myself and nobody else that I've noticed that things are probably a little weird and I've been working out for a year now and third week and I did take a week off last week because of being like really sick I couldn't even get through a workout so I was doing yoga and abs and just you know low impact type workouts during that time so I thought you know I knew that it would kind of affect me a little bit but I'm like thinking okay I should still you know be improving a lot more than I am well it made me realize when I was talking to someone the other day about it <clears throat> um, they mentioned asthma and I was like asthma you know I don't have asthma I've never dealt with asthma I never thought that I've had it I've never been told I had it or anything like that but I did a little research on it because the reason that my max out times I was thinking that I just am not improving maybe I, I thought maybe I just am not as fit as I thought or just still really out of shape and not pushing myself but I did some research on it and it was saying something about exercise induced asthma as well as like you can get that fatigue if you get asthma during working out and that does happen to me um, so like I I'm definitely gonna be setting an appointment up with my doctor on Monday to find out if this is something because when I max out like I'm not maxing out because I can't do another push-up or I can't um, do a move or anything like that a lot of my max outs will be one if my my kid gets in my way and makes me stop but it's because I can't breathe and like my chest gets really tight it's hard to swallow um, I'm literally like <gasps> you know like that sometimes within like 30 minutes of starting so that made me realize that you know I should be improving I should be continuously improving with this and instead I'm not I'm still having that issue I'm improving as far as like if it's another move like the push-ups and um, different type style moves like that I'm doing just fine but when it's like that straight cardio and I'm you know doing those types of moves I notice that I, I max out like that like I, I just can't breathe so um, thankfully, you know, that's why I love this program too. It's it's really great for me because, and I think anybody, because it really makes you focus on yourself. And it's not about you trying to keep up with Shanti, even though, I mean, it would be weird if you could breathe during the Shanti workout anyway. But, or anyone else or what other people's max outs, it's you against you. And, you know, I've been keeping track of my progress as I go and how I feel and whatnot. And, you know, that's the only, that's honestly the area that hasn't improved and I don't think it's normal really to to feel like I absolutely cannot breathe and stuff when I'm working out so I'll definitely keep you guys updated with that as far as measurements I'm hoping this whole week didn't skipping a week didn't um, ruin anything for me but um, I will definitely fill in on my measurements um, hopefully and maybe even share um, some photos next after the end of next week um, when I kind of 
when I had that last week. I wanted to wait the whole month. So we will see. And other than that, I mean, I'm feeling really good. I I don't know. This, this program, like, really pumps me up, gives me those, like, endorphins and energy, and I just feel really, really good on it. So, um... Yeah, and I think that's it. I realize I say um like a bajillion times, and I apologize for that. <laughs> so we're going to not, um, see, I did it again. But anyway, so this video is already five minutes, and I wanted to just get all that off my chest and check in with you guys. Again, I didn't miss any workouts this week. I've done awesome with getting them in, sometimes morning, sometimes night. Um, but yeah, I hope you got your workout in, and thank you for watching and holding me accountable. And I will check in with you guys next week.